This is not a paradise, man. <laughs> like Jake said, bro. <laughs> this is this is what you call a uh, a desolate environment. This is what you call a barren environment. The earth is basically under the influence of a negative vibration. Because you have wicked people. This proves that we're under a wicked rulership. The earth itself proves that we're under a wicked rulership. Where everything just looks dead. Struggling to grow. Nature I'm talking about. Look at the grass behind me. That's ridiculous, man. The grass should be able to stand up. Reasonably high. Now I understand, you know, you cut grass and everything, but damn. The grass like it's struggling to grow. Trees don't even want to be here. Even the people, the people are like, man, I don't even want to be here. You got a lot of people that contemplate on committing suicide, giving up life. People are severely depressed. People got to um, depend on popping pills to get away from the reality. People got to go drink. People got to go do drugs. So if you, if you have a large population of people that's under, in the, under the influence of some kind of medication or any kind of um, drug or a drink, you got problems, man. Like I said, the Lord created the earth to be a paradise. This is why he called it that in the first place. In the Hebrew, the word is um, Eden. The word Eden means paradise. <laughs> even the birds ain't around. Where's the birds at? <laughs> you know, even just a couple of years ago, you like you like hear birds. I mean, you know, you hear the birds now, but you should start to see a plethora of birds flying around you. I mean, when I was a kid, man, there is a reason about the birds around. Now you just don't even really see them hardly, man. Everything just looks dead. The whole environment looks dead. So you know this ain't the kingdom. You know damn well this ain't this this is this is not the kingdom. Oh hell no. Okay? So kind of took it somewhere else with that, man. I don't know why I went there with that, but it just went there into this spirit. So yes, let's go back and read. Uh, yeah, Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse seven. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work; only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Because this is this old serpent coming back. Which the serpent was nothing more than a man that was wise and skilled to do wickedness. And the great kind of, the, the, and the, the way of wickedness that he was skilled to do it, and the wickedness that he was skilled on, excuse me, was to deceive. That's why he beguiled Eve. And as well as, um, Eve took hold of those, what is it, those left-hand side philosophies. You know, which we could talk about being a magician, we could talk about astrology, we could talk about, um, I mean, just positions the right way. You know, all kind of forms of witchcraft, basically. That's what the, the servant was um, bringing about to those two. Which um, Adam and Eve, they were of the righteous elf. And the Lord only wanted them to know good, but they took on the philosophies of, of good and evil and the uh, the, the, uh, the serpent said that you will not die so he flipped it on them he flipped it on them but Eve for the most part she got beguiled and then um Adam followed behind her with that philosophy so yeah that's what went down so that same serpent is here right now manipulating the minds of many people to be influenced by left-hand side doctrines and to convince people that it's not a big deal it's not a big deal you know for uh you know for uh for two moments to get it on it's not a big deal they're human beings and he speaks smoothly with his words to have you accept these left-hand side arranged doctrines out here all right like Esau is smooth when it comes to the deception he knows how to deceive, and uh, especially down here in the UK, man. Like a lot of these, a lot of those, those high uh, witches and warlocks, man, which are really, you know, they're here, and 
and you have, you have a lot of them in the states too. They're very good with it because in order for you to manipulate people, you have to be a master at psychology. Like I've mentioned, psychology means the study of the soul. So you can master how the, you can master the soul. And I'm not talking about these college educated. I'm not talking about the average college educated psych psychologists. I'm talking about these higher level guys that really understand how this shit works. Yeah, I'm talking about them guys. These are the same people that control the media. I'm talking about these guys. And they know how it works. They know what makes the people uh, pretty much um, what's the word I'm looking for, man? They know what makes the people get uh, get tripped up. They know what hits the people. All right. They know what buttons to they they know what buttons to press and all of that stuff, man. They just know how to manipulate your mind. They know how to get into your mental. And they know what people like and what they don't like. And they um they, they massage people in the way that they do it. They've been, you know, they use they use their tactics. Excuse me, let me fast forward. You know what I mean? Like they use their tactics so that people can accept these these um these way left arranged doctrines. And before you know it, it becomes a part of society. And then people are what plagued by these by these philosophies. Okay? Just like how um, the, the serpent beguiled Eve and, and made it seem like it was okay to undertake this philosophy, even though the law said, don't eat of that the apple of that tree, which the apple just represented the philosophies. She did it anyway because when the serpent came to um and this is just, this is just my analysis. The serpent appeared before before Eve, like he was angelic, like he um had you know he had a good heart. Like it is written. What Paul said. Paul said, "Marvel that, marvel that Satan is not, marvel not that Satan is transformed as an angel of light." So when I'm thinking, this is just my 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 own personal analysis, right? Um, the serpent was very wise in projecting his words in a particular way to Eve to have her undergo the left hand side. He appeared as an angel of light. Like the scripture says that um, his mouth was smoother than butter, but war is in his heart, okay? So the, the, the serpent had a smooth tongue. He had a smooth look to him. You know, he uh, he moved he, he moved with, with a great deal of deception. And she, and she took hold of that, and as well as Adam followed thereafter. And that's when that perpetual seed entered into the world, which in this case, the, uh, the Israelites. And that's um, the element of sin that is. You know what I mean? That's the element of sin. That's what did it. <clears throat> and this is why what? We're well, under the influence of sin in this case. That's why we can't get it right. Ever since the, ever since Adam went off, he was going off. So there you go, man. in this park both feet the sun will come out later but yeah man when the kingdom is set up the sun is really gonna come out <laughs> anyway man let me uh let me get back to this precepts yeah so let me read this again for the mystery of iniquity do have already worked and only he who, who now let of will let until he be taken out of the way. So the mystery of iniquity represents these devils in the, in the position of power, working their magic, working their um, their, their sorcery and their witchcraft, which is the which is the old serpent working those wonders. Like it mentions in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter. Because you have these um, Roman Catholics, these uh, which, which really the Roman Catholics, they're nothing but those priests for this system. Because in every society, you've always had priestmen 
and your modern day priestmen are those Roman Catholics. And I'm not talking about the average Catholic clergy dude. I'm talking about, you know, people like the main pope that you see on TV and, 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 and also those Jesuits too. You have the Jesuit priests and as well as you have those Roman Catholics. So those are the like the spiritual priestmen of this system that tell the higher powers what it is, what's, what, what the deal is going to be in the future. And I believe um, Salvi, he's also part of that elk too. That's just my personal thing. You know, the uh, the Archbishop of Canterbury, because all of these different clergy dudes and pastors and all of that, they're, they're the biggest witches you'll ever know. Okay? And that's how they were able to beguile everybody to undergo what? The left-hand side doctrines of the world. Because Esau's in the policy, ruling with wonders of the devil. You want to why people got mental issues, man. People are sick all day, every day. <clears throat> there's, there's a sick vibration on this earth, and you can feel it too. Anyway, yeah, let me go. Um, so that's where you grew up. Well, I guess. Let's get back to this. Let's not get too carried away. Back to the scriptures. Uh. Let's go and read Thessalonians 2 and 7. Yes, and then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And that right now, brothers and you sisters is watching, is happening. Beginning with the prophets of the Lord, we have the words of the Lord, and through the words of the Lord, we've revealed this devil, what he is, nationality-wise, biblically, that they are the Edomites and they are the so-called Caucasians, they are the so-called white people today. And according to the Bible, they represent the wicked. Malachi, what is it? One in verse four tells you that straightforward, that they are the border of wickedness. And when you look at your reality, come on, man, it ain't lying to you. It is 